nerve flossing, what that's all about, and if you should do it. That's the subject of this video. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, this is Dr. Shaki from Irvine Spinal Wellness Center, your Irvine Posture and Movement Chiropractic Clinic. Nerve flossing is a subject that I get asked a lot about. And first of all, I wanna to explain to you what nerve flossing is, and then if you should do it. And why you would even need to do the nerve flossing. First of all, nerve flossing happens, or nerve in nerves in general, they get a lot of tension if you have a sedentary lifestyle or if your body positions pretty much the same for an extended length of time. A great example of that is when you're sitting behind the desk and you're extending your legs and you're just typing away. What ends up happening is your sciatic nerve, as an example, which is right behind your uh, glutes and your legs get stretched so much. So it loses that flexibility that every soft tissue needs to have. So imagine this green band is your nerve and every nerve has a sheathing around it that it needs to be able to move through. What ends up happening is with an extended length of time, of holding a posture in a specific position, you end up taking away that ability of the nerve to nicely and easily glide through this. So it either gets stretched or it gets compressed. Either way, the nerves don't like it and they will malfunction and they'll start screaming at you. So it can happen to every nerve in your body pretty much. And depending on what your symptoms are, when you see your chiropractor as an example, or when you're seeing your doctor in general, if that doctor is aware of what's going on, because yes, it does happen that you go to a doctor and you expect to know the answer and they just totally miss it. And so what ends up happening is when that's the case, you, you do the nerve flossing for that specific area. So with nerve flossing, what we do is we go to the beginning and the end of that nerve. So we need to know what that is. And while we stretch one end, we bring the other end closer. And then we stretch the, this end, bring the other end closer. And in the more advanced stage of flossing, you stretch both ends. So you go, flexion, flexion, and then total stretch of that nerve. Should you do it, there is nothing wrong with doing it preventatively. So if I were to be sitting behind my desk and typing away, I would definitely include nerve flossing of my sciatic nerve my obturator nerve, the nerves that uh, uh, sit behind you. I would stretch the nerves of my neck going into my arms quite a bit. Those are the commonly involved nerves when you're having a sedentary lifestyle. So that's essentially what nerve flossing is. And you cannot go wrong doing nerve flossing but what's important is to make sure that your symptoms are related to your nerves. If you think you're suffering from nerve issues, but you're not so sure about, contact me using one of the methods of contact in the description box. We can chat and see what's going on. And then depending on what the findings are, you're more welcome to come in and let me take a look and see what's going on. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, this is your opportunity to do so. And until next time, take care.